Welcome to the Feedback and Drafts mini training. This training is designed for free and paid teachers who already have an account and class in Seesaw. Be sure to have another window or device ready to follow along with the steps. Students benefit most from feedback when it is given during the learning process and supports them to grow towards their goals. Seesaw supports ongoing, timely feedback that deepens learning. By the end of this video, you will be able to leave text and audio comments on student posts and use best practices for giving feedback on Seesaw. Free users will learn how students can edit posts, while paid users will learn how to use drafts and send back drafts to support feedback and learning. All teachers can leave text and voice comments on a student post. This is a fast and effective way to leave feedback on student work in Seesaw. On a post, click the comment button. It looks like this. You can find it here. Teachers can type a comment or click the microphone button to record an audio comment. This is particularly helpful for young or English language learners. When a teacher leaves a comment, it shows on the post. Students can also comment on each other's posts, giving students an authentic audience for their work and valuable feedback from their peers. You can enable or disable this setting in class settings. When students receive a comment on one of their posts, they see a notification in their inbox tab. Students can then read and reply to the comment. Enabling comments is a valuable opportunity for students to practice digital citizenship. Teach students a framework for structuring their comments. This helps students learn to give feedback that's appropriate and helpful. It's time to practice. Pause the video now and leave a comment on a post. After you've given feedback in a comment, students can apply that feedback to revise their work. This next part is for free users. If you're a Seesaw Plus or Seesaw for Schools user, feel free to skip this. A great time to give feedback on student posts is when you're reviewing them. Leave a comment with your feedback, then approve the post. If you delete the post, students will not be able to revise their work because the post will be deleted. Students see your comment on their post and can edit their post to apply your feedback. To edit a post, students click the three dots, then edit item. Once students have edited their post, they resubmit it for approval. For this to work, make sure that you have item editing enabled in class settings. You may be wondering, how do I keep track of all the posts that need revision? Create a needs revision folder. If you need a refresher on folders, check out our folders mini training. When reviewing posts, you can leave your comment, then tag the post to the needs revision folder. Do this by clicking the three dots, then edit folders. You'll see the post is tagged to the needs revision folder. We recommend you also follow up with students to make sure they know to revise their work. Periodically, you can view all work tagged to the needs revision folder to make sure students have received and applied your feedback. In the journal tab, click on class journal, then click on the folder icon that appears. Choose the needs revision folder to see all work tagged to that folder. Once a post has been revised, you can remove it from the needs revision folder by clicking the three dots, then edit folders and deselecting needs revision. It's your turn. Pause now, enable item editing, and create a needs revision folder. We just showed you how free teachers leverage comments and item editing to give feedback. The next two parts are for paid users. Free users can feel free to skip these steps or continue watching to learn about our premium features. Seesaw Plus and Seesaw for Schools users have access to Send Back Draft, which was created to support ongoing feedback loops. The Send Back button looks like this. You can find it when reviewing student posts up here. When reviewing posts, leave a comment with feedback, then click send back. There are three ways students will know if a post has been sent back for revision. First, students get a notification in the inbox tab. Second, any post that has been sent back will have an orange bar at the top. Posts that are sent back do not show up in the class journal. So students can click on their name to see their posts marked as drafts. Third, if the original post was a response to an activity, students will see finish response on the activity. We encourage you to establish a routine for students to check if they have any posts to revise. Once students revise their posts, they can resubmit it for approval. Pause the video now and plan a routine for students to check posts for feedback. If you want to give student feedback before they finish a post, they can save their post as a draft. Drafts is a paid feature for Seesaw Plus and Seesaw for Schools users. To save a post as a draft, students click the Draft button. It looks like this. Students can find it up here next to the green check. Clicking Draft saves a post as a draft. 
Drafts are not posted to the class journal. As a teacher, you can view students' drafts in two ways. First, you can click on any student's name to see if any of their posts are drafts. Drafts have an orange bar on top. For responses to activities, click on the gray bar to access your grid view. If a post has been saved as a draft, you'll see an orange draft bar above the student's name. Click on the post to view it, then leave a text or voice comment with feedback. Students can then apply your feedback as they finish their posts. Pause the video now and plan how you might integrate time for feedback and revision into your next lesson. Thanks for learning with us today. We love showing you all that's possible with Seesaw. See you again soon here at Seesaw.